against those who would deny his authority. <laughs> The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom. Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Basil Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where is Arib al Ma'muniya, the poet? <laughs> Where is Arib al Ma'muniya, the poet? Looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. Where is Arib al Ma'muniya, the poet? Where is Arib al Ma'muniya, the poet? Where is Arib? I hope to catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> I doubt it. The translator, Hunayn, you should not be back so soon. I know, I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wada'an. I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. That astronomer might be one of them. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. This house of wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmed ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. 
The world is full of wonders. Gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. There is that poet, the Bidlove, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Spirit of the Sands. Pi yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos. I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, Sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. 
I should return to the Kahreman. Pardon me. Is Fazl Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim Al-Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous <laughs> blasphemies. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? <laughs> Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Sayidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the great scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom, the house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. It is true. Fazil leads the Order in Abbasia. I need to hunt him down. I wish to complain about the shirt before the election. I am profoundly unedified. Did you see the powerful terror on the great scholar's face? He looked like somebody about to get his skull ring. Forget I mentioned it. How exciting! What do you think frightened the great scholar? The old fool must have imagined one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe he hid down there. I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar by secret tunnels fled. Chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and inks. I am aware of no such location on these premises. Perhaps a little token of my appreciation will jog your memory. Most generous. <sighs> Murders, mayhem, and bonfires. It's time for me to depart the House of Wisdom. Father has a fine carpet shop in Samara. He always wanted me to take up the family trade. 
A wise choice. Now, about any hidden cellars. Oh, yes, uh, of course, forgive me. Now that you mention it, there is a basement hatch in the northwest courtyard. Thank you. Gatekeeper, let me pass. Those who came before are... What are you talking about? Those who came before are... Let me get back to you. I've lost Fossil's greatest work. <clears throat> Looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. What do you mean you lost the great scholar's masterwork? I'm sorry. I was distracted by the presence of the famous poet Arib. Forget the poet! We better find Fazl's book, or we're both dead. Sounds like part of a passphrase. book looks out of place wedged behind a desk like that. A history of the great scholar and his magnificent reforms of the House of Wisdom by Fazil Fahim. Not sure if this is the correct volume. <laughs> Seven of them. Take out the horse's legs, then pick them off like the fleas they find so delicious. like somebody left a book in the stairwell. I'll find you yet. Vigilance is its own reward.
I better not use my weapons here. The Folly of Poetry by Fazil Fahim. Does not sound too romantic, to be honest. mentions a private reading balcony. Might be where the reader has taken the book. Better not use my weapons here. What do you see? Impressive volume, written by Fazil Fahim. Could be his masterwork. Its title is, Those who came before are those who shall return. This has to be it.
better not use my weapons here. Come on. not use my weapons here. <laughs> Gatekeeper, those who came before are... are those who shall return. Correct! You may proceed. Clear. I can use my weapons again if needed.
There is a deep wrongness here. A reek of rot and iron. Those robes might help me get closer to Fazil. What have they done? Poor guy will not need this anymore. This should help me blend in. What have they done to these people? that I have seen it all before. Somehow. Who dares meddle with my great work? Killing my allies, spoiling my lecture. It's an outrage. It looks like the handiwork of a trained assassin. Must be some faction in the Round City. Or one of those jealous broods in Shakti. These killings were too subtle for mercenaries. No matter. Once I understand how the mechanism works, I will prove myself to Al Bahamud. In here, Lackwit. You are new, aren't you? I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? No matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance. And upon such dark secrets, we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? Here, where lies absolute knowledge. It, it is not how I remember it. Behind the doors, it looked brighter. But in the end, all we see is darkness.
Basim ibn Ishaq. How did you find this place? Easy. I just followed the trails of blood. You should not be here. Do you talk to him? Sometimes. Yes. But he does not answer. I do. We have drifted apart since... since that day. But what we have seen back at the palace... This light, these sounds, we cannot have possibly forgotten. Unlike you, Nihal, I keep the past in the past. You call yesterday the past? And this Jinni of yours, this repulsive shadow that crushes your chest, has it crawled back into the past too? No, it is still here. Sometimes. Even in the day, I feel its breath on my neck. The nightmare invades the real world, or has always been part of it. This is part of your reality, Basim. I am a part of your reality too. I am your past. Tell me, will you leave me there? In the dark corners of your memory? I will not. Now, if you could invent a mechanical rug sweeper... Boss him. It is done. And how did it all play out? I'm afraid this is a tale for another day. We will save it for one of our campfires. You have done well, my friend. Better get back to my work. You know how easily I get bored. Thank you for what you did, Basim. It is the truth. You have done well. One last thing. Arib. Was she... involved? Not that I know. But we must remain vigilant. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake. We'll join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I- The Jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked ones prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest, and why they sought it. My companions wait for me at the Harbiya Bureau.